once you've got your skill completely set up, the next thing you want to do is start testing it. And like I mentioned earlier, if you have an Amazon Echo and you set up your developer account using the same email address that you set up with your Echo, you can start testing your skill using your Echo by simply enabling the test right here. So when you do this, you're also enabling the skill under your account again. Uh, if you're using the same account that you used when you uh, um, set up your Echo or the same email address. And uh, if you don't have an Echo, like I mentioned earlier, you don't need one because this test simulator here it provides everything that you need to test the skill. So uh, we can use this just like we would use an Echo. So we can say, Alexa, open space facts. Here's your fact. Earth is the only planet not named after a god. All right, and that pulled the fact from the skill service that we set up. And I can also test in here using, uh, I could submit my uh, input using text also. So like open space facts. Oops. Like this. Here's your fact. The Milky Way galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 5 billion years. Okay, so my skill's working right now. I want to just point out a couple of things here. Um, so this JSON input and JSON output here, the input is the input that's going from the Alexa service to your skill service. In our case, that Lambda function that we just set up. So the Alexa service is generating this and sending this to the endpoint. And then our skill service, our Lambda function, is reading this, taking this in, and responding with this here, the, uh, the JSON output. And this is what's going back and forth between the Alexa service and the skill service all the time. There's a, a JSON message, like I mentioned earlier, and the skill service is reading that message and acting on whatever the message is saying that the user wants and sending a response back. The, um, uh, the, the, the one point here I wanna make is really about um, when things don't go right when you're testing. So uh, let, me, um, let, me, let me show you uh, kind of a, a case where things aren't working. So right now everything worked and we got a, uh, a response back that the Alexa service could understand. But if you're having problems, you, you might not get enough information over here to know what's going on. So let's, let's uh, create a problem like that. So I'm gonna go over to my, um, I'm gonna go over here to my Lambda function and I'm gonna just modify this so that uh, it generates an error that, um, that the Alexa service will not know what to do with. So I'm gonna change this to, just making this change again, just to, to generate an error to illustrate a point. So now when I go back over here and I uh, test, I'll say open space facts. There was a problem with the requested skills response. And so this time, because my skill service didn't respond with something that the Alexa service knew what to do with, uh, the Alexa service is just telling me that there was a problem with the skill service, but the Alexa service doesn't know what the problem is. All the Alexa service knows is that it didn't get a message back that it knew what to do with. And so I just get a generic error message, which if you're getting that uh, and you don't know how to go about figuring out what's going on can be pretty frustrating. And so what we're gonna wanna do if something like that comes up and we're, we're not getting into, in this lesson, um, deep into the code and, and debugging and all of that stuff, but I wanna touch on this because uh, it's important and we're gonna need this as we start building uh, our own custom skill. But what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to simulate the request that's coming from the Alexa service to the Lambda function and use the debugging in Lambda to try to figure out what's going on. And to do that, it's pretty simple. You would just copy an example of the request that's coming from the Alexa service, which you can do by just copying the JSON input here. And then you wanna take that over to your Lambda function and there's actually uh, a test 
a way to test uh, right in here. So you can do this test here, um, configure test event. And I already configured this, so I'm gonna do it again just to show you. You would just paste in, give your test uh, a name, and I call the, the, this one launch request. You can call it whatever you want. And then uh, you would just save it in there. If um, I didn't already have this, this button would allow me to save. And then once you've saved your test, you can submit the test. And then when you submit the test, you will see the error message here with a lot more details. And actually you see it down here as well. So um, you can use this information to debug what's going on. Uh, and again, this lesson is not about debugging as much as it is just generally how you would approach testing Alexa skills. So we'll come back to this as we uh, start modifying code a little bit later on. But uh, we would go about debugging our skill service in the Lambda um, manager in the AWS console. And we could from here figure out, well, we know what's wrong with this because we created the error, but we could uh, figure out more easily because we have information to, uh, to figure out what's going on and we can debug it there. And then when we go back, of course, it would, uh, it would be fixed or we could retest it in here. So that is a, just a quick introduction to how you would go about testing. We're going to need this as we're developing our skill, especially when things go wrong, which um, they, they will from time to time as you're, as you're building stuff. So you want to know how to go about debugging it. In the uh, next lesson, we will dive into the code a little bit and look at modifying the code. And with this debugging lesson, we can do that hopefully confidently, because if something goes wrong, we'll know how to fix it. So we will jump in that next.